Welcome to Durian Riders Workshop. Did a video recently where I tipped in uh, half a pound of organic sugar, refined sugar of course, into a smoothie of mine. And uh, to my channel Skinny on Raw, if you're not subscribed to Skinny on Raw yet, check it out. Now, you, can, you know my style, I purposely do things to get a bit of attention. And so that video got a bit of attention and people were like, adding refined sugar during rider to fruit like you're a sugar addict you're nothing but a sugar addict so I can see where people are sort of coming from but it's because they don't really understand yet you know I had a lot of people saying oh you know like sugar makes you fat look at Robert Lustig's <laughs> video the sugar the bit of truth that's had like 3 million views you know Robert Lustig is an expert sugar Makes you fat, Duran Rider. Look at you, Duran Rider. You're getting all fat. Look at that. Muscle on top of muscle on top of muscle. All that fat just dripping all over my body and my face. I look like a meth addict. The people say, Duran Rider, sugar makes you fat. So, most people's goal who's watching my channel is to get lean, to lose the fat, to lose the weight, to increase their health and to feel better and get off the drugs, get off the caffeine. I don't drink coffee, I don't drink tea, I don't eat chocolate, I'm not a cacao addict. Lots like of these people are out there. Doesn't make you a bad person if you do. I'm just saying that I find it laughable when people tell me that sugar is a drug, but they're drinking coffee. <laughs> or sugar is a drug, but they're, they're doing cocaine, or they're doing crack out, or whatever. These things are drugs. Sugar, my friends, is a nutrient. It's a nutrient. Look it up, look it up. If sugar is a drug, then I should be getting busted and having a two-year suspension from Cycling Australia for testing positive for sugar in my blood. But if you test positive for caffeine, cocaine, EPO, yeah, you can get a ban. These things, my friends, are drugs. Sugar is a nutrient. Now, I mean, my mum told me when I was eight years old, sugar is a drug. Sugar is a poison. And I was like, oh, yeah, and, and I started thinking, oh, yeah, it's sugar is... That's such a pernicious belief, isn't it? To, to, to think that. It's such a pernicious belief that you're thinking that a nutrient is a drug. It's a bit like feeling guilty for breathing. So I, I tell people that would be one of the worst things you can think of. One of the most pernicious thoughts you can have is thinking sugar is a drug and then going, oh, I have to deny my sweet tooth. I have to deny the fact that 100 trillion cells approximately in the adult human body that run on glucose, sucrose, fructose, etc. I have to deny that fact. I have to deny it at all. It's like telling, telling children, you shouldn't breathe too much. Every breath you take, you're closer to death. <laughs> so kids are walking around, <laughs> just try not to breathe. People walk around society trying to deny their sugar cravings and they wonder why they end up eating so much junk. I'm addicted to sugar. I just can't stop. And they'll go have donuts because I've I haven't eaten breakfast this morning, so I'm trying to cut back on the pancakes and maple syrup and the fruit. So I'm just like freaking out so hungry. Now I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm a sugar addict, so I'm eating Snickers bars again and donuts. I, I'm sure they're 50% calories coming from fat, but Duran Rider is wrong because sugar makes you fat. Look at Duran Rider. Look at Freely. They're just getting fatter and fatter and fatter. I mean, look at all the fat on, the, on the, all their bodies and stuff, you know. 12 years on this high carb vegan diet, addicted to sugar and fruit. And, and now Duran Rider's adding sugar to his smoothies and it's just. It's going nuts. I mean, sugar from fruit's different because it's still sugar. It's still glucose and fructose, and sucrose is made of glucose and fruit, but it's different. Oh, no, it's not. It's exactly the same. Of course, fruit's got more n nourishment in there. I'm not saying that people should give up eating fruits and just eat bags of organic sugar. I'm saying that sugar is essential, and sugar gets a bad rap from all these fat people out there who are trying to sell you something. There's that famous Australian author, well, not famous, but... Uh, Sarah Wilson, the, the model who became a nutrition guru, but <laughs> she's only got to be following because she's sort of half good looking, but she was on any sort of diet because she's one of those people who can just starve themselves and do Botox, etc. But she's basically employed by the Australian meat and dairy industry, okay, to be a, a sugar, a sugar police officer or whatever. It's just a joke. It's a joke. So don't get scammed and conned by people trying to sell you stuff. You always gotta ask, who does the person work for? What are they trying to sell me? What are they trying to sell me? Ask that question. Ask it every time. 
every one of my videos, what is Duran Rider trying to sell me now? What do I have to sell you at the end of my video? What do I have to sell, sell you? That's the question you want to ask. Zip ties get sticky here. I like recycling zip ties, I don't like cutting them. See, brand new zip tie, still gonna be used. I can use this for years and years and years. Sugar, it's uh, try it, try something before you knock it. If you find that fruit is sweet enough for you, awesome. If you find you can get quite enough fruit, that's fantastic. You don't need to add sugar to it, organic sugars, but a lot of people write me highly, I'm addicted to like ice cream and Snickers bars and, and fruit, it fucking tastes like shit. I'll be honest with you, Doria, fruit tastes like shit where I live. I bite into it, it tastes like pesticides and Vaseline jelly. What can I do? I'm like, well, try and find the good fruit. If you can't, maybe add some organic sugar to that fruit so it's more enjoyable. You're still going to lose a shitload of weight. You're going to have more energy. You're not going to want to have the the ba Baskin Robbins. Remember the Brawl Bras, those guys from a few years ago, how they... They started making all these excuses up, oh, fruit's not good for you, blah, blah, blah. And then I <laughs> do a video of eating Baskin Robbins ice cream, and it's like, <laughs> guys, why don't you just be honest and tell people the real reason you don't want to do lifestyle, because you want to eat Baskin Robbins. Because you, you're you always into under-eating and not eating enough, so you get so hungry, you're just like, fuck, I need some food, you know? I need some food. It's a bit like my MacBook now is low on battery, it's low on electricity. Instead of me... Going on my MacBook's crap, I'll just plug it into the PowerPoint. Instead of saying the diet's crap, just eat more calories. Get enough carbohydrate calories from your favorite sources. You won't want to eat the junk. You won't want to eat the junk. I had a talk with someone the other day in a bike shop who was quite overweight. And he's, he's going, you're that banana boy on YouTube. Like, I watch so many videos, you'd be out there, mate. But I don't know, mate. All that sugar, man, that's... All that sugar from the fruit and that, that's, that's going to be like... Yeah, you know, that causes obesity, mate, you know? <laughs> and I was like... Alright, so I patted him on his fat little belly, in a nice way, just, we had a good rapport then. I said, tell me how my diet is making me obese and unhealthy based on my blood tests and, and how I look. Do I look fat? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, and as I was saying, like, obviously your KFC paleo diet's working for you, not. You know, so we had a bit of a discussion for 10 minutes and, and maybe, maybe Stephen got it. So if you're watching Steve, think about what we had in that conversation. Just think about it and... Again, ask the question, what is someone trying to sell me? Do I starve myself? I have so much sugar in my food, people are saying it's wrong. People are saying it's wrong. I promote so many calories, people say it's wrong. Read the forums, read what people say. People say I'm wrong because I promote too much sugar, I promote too much calories, you're meant to starve yourself to health, you're meant to eat a low sugar diet, fruit's got too much sugar in it today, blah blah blah, don't it, just, you know what I mean? So just, I encourage people to be critical thinkers. Please think critically and, and learn what's going on in the industry that people are always just trying to sell you all this nonsense. That's my just that's my replies to that video. Um, if you haven't seen the video, I'll post a link down below. And uh, what else can I, what else what was another comment? People are saying, oh, this is, you may as well be eating steak and Big Macs because that sugar's cooked during rider. You know, if it's not raw, it's it's not raw and all this stuff. And I'm like thinking. That, that's the sort of mentality people have when they're doing the lifestyle for like two weeks or something. They're like, oh, you know, I, I, I know how it is and that. It's like, <laughs> I'll be doing this in 50 years' time. I'll be doing the same shit as I was doing 10 years, 10 or 12 years ago. I'll be doing the same stuff. Why? Because it's easy. It's easy to live healthy. I don't make it hard for myself. I don't make it so restricted that I'm down to like two pieces of food I can eat. And then I'm just like, oh, this is, this is just too hard. Just give me fucking Baskin Robbins and... Uh, Aussie Steakhouse, whatever it is. So make health easy. Make health easy. Hopefully that answers some questions. If not, post them down below. We'll, let's. This is going to be an ongoing discussion. It's not going to go away today, and hopefully it doesn't. Let's just talk more about it. Is sugar a drug, or is sugar a nutrient? Thanks for watching. Post your comments down below. We'll see you soon.